Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see another numerical on design of double angle strut. So let's see first the problem statement. See the problem statement is design a strut of a truss using double angle section of steel to carry a factor load of 130 kilonewton use minimum 50 mm leg length of isa length of member is 4.8 m16 bolts of 4.6 grade are used now i have told you what are the steps involved see in the previous lecture or in the previous video we have seen what are the steps involved for solving this type of numerical first you will write given data then you will assume certain value of lambda that is or the fcd whatever you assume from that you try the section from the steel table then you classify the section that is given on page number 18 table number 2 then you find out the slenderness ratio then you write down the buckling class but it will always be c for the angle sections then finally you will calculate the fcd from the is code you will take the values you do the interpolation and you will find out that and finally you will find out the design strength and it should be greater than your given load that is 130 so let's solve this numerical so the first step is what it is given a data so i'll write down the given data whatever is given here so i'll make the first step here given data so what is given here see it is a double angle strut okay that is clear then it is it has to carry a factored load so factor load is given it is 130 kilonewton then minimum 50 mm legs should be used that means you should try that isa indian standard section from steel table which should have minimum 50 mm leg more than that will be okay but it says that minimum 50 mm leg should be there okay then length of member they have given it is 4.8 meter in mm you can write it so it is 4800 mm then m16 bolts are there means d, d will be 16 mm and d0 will be 18 mm okay then we have 4.6 that means fu feb and that is all given so that is not necessary so that was your first step okay now what is the second step see let's come back to our uh, previous step ah, okay what is the second step you have to assume the value of fcd here so i'll assume, assume certain value of fcd here you can assume okay i have told you i have given you the table so i'll write here assume the value of fcd here so i'll write down that assume or you can assume lambda also that is what i have given here assume either lambda or fcd okay so i'll assume here now lambda now this time i'll assume the lambda so that it will not be you will not think that whether to assume lambda or whether to assume fcd it is up to you so i'll assume lambda is equal to 140 so for 140 what is the value of fcd you have to check on which is code it and which is code and which page number it is given this value of fcd i have told you the value of fcd is given in so and so page number now you find out in the previous video i have told you that you have to refer so and so table from so and so is code see is code is 800 2007 that is clear so from that value from that page number i am taking the value of fcd and it is what it is 66.2 newton per mm square now i'll also write the I, uh, is code page number here see if you uh, if you can remember that what is the page number you can write down or i'll oil or else i'll write it here i have taken it from page number 42 of is what is 800 2007 you can open that page number and you can check whether the value is this or not in previous lecture in previous video i have told you how i got this values okay so the second step is also over now now what is the third step let me show you now the third step is try section so i'll try certain section and which section you should try you should try that section which should have area required let me show you first let me show you what is the formula for area required see the formula for area required is a area required okay it is load divided by stress okay that is the formula for the area required load is given it is 130 in newton it will be 130 into 10 raised to 3 and stress stress we have assumed it is 66.2 you can write like this pu by fcd this is what it is written like this okay so you can calculate what is the area required it will be around 
पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एम एम स्क्वायर दिस मच एरिया इज रिक्वायर्ड बट इट इज फॉर डबल फॉर सिंगल इट विल बी हाउ मच सॉल राइट हेयर एरिया ऑफ इच एंगल विल बी वन नाइन सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो यू हैव टू जस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय टू बिकॉज इट इज डबल एंगल फॉर डबल एंगल दिस मच एरिया इज रिक्वायर्ड सो फॉर सिंगल एंगल हाउ मच विल बी हाउ मच एरिया विल बी रिक्वायर्ड इट विल बी 981.87 mm square of area will be required okay now this is the area that is required i'll try that section which has area greater than this or or in mm square also you can write it see it is in mm square actually you have to write it in centimeter square also because in a uh, steel table the area is given in centimeter square so you can write down that also so it will not be very confusing to search that area from the steel table and you search it whether you you check it whether the section i am trying whether it is greater than or not so i will what you can just pause the video for 5 seconds maybe and you can search that whether that section is available in the steel section or not i will write one section here wait a minute see i'll try this section try isa 80 by 80 by 8 mm this section i'll try okay whose area I'll, i'll also write this area in uh, centimeter square it will be 9.81 centimeter square so that area you should find out which has area more than this from the steel table okay it is uh, 9.81 centimeter square so you can find out that area from the steel table okay now i have written here the area as uh, the section is 80 by 80 by 8 and its area is in the, it is given in the steel table it is 1221 Area is one two two one mm square. Okay, and the value of R V V it is also given here. R X X and R V V. R X X is equal to R Y Y is equal to. They have given the value as twenty four point four mm. This value is also required at the time of calculation of lambda. So third step is also over now. See, we are at the steps here. given data is over assuming the lambda or fcd is over tri section is also over from steel table now classification of section let's come back to that step how you can classify the section so it will be my step number so it will be my step number 4 okay i'll write down the next step so which which step is it it is the fourth step that is section classification and which page number i used it uh, used for this section classification i have told you in the previous video i have told you that which page number of is code i'll be using for the section classification so i'll mention here also it will be on page number 18 and table number 2 okay you have to open that table and see for angle sections there are three values b by t is there then d by t is there and third one b plus d by 2 is there now what is b what is t c our section is 80 by 80 by 8 okay so here i'll write 80 by 8 here also i'll write 80 by 8 and at here i'll write 80 plus 80 by t so that means 8 only okay so 80 by 8 it will be 10 this one will also be 10 and this one value let's calculate that you can even pause the video and you can calculate by yourself also so this value will be 20 now what is the criteria in as code see on this page number 18 the criteria is it should be less than 15.7 epsilon this should also be less than 15.7 epsilon and this this should be less than 25 epsilon so what is epsilon epsilon is nothing but One why one because they have given the formula on the same page number that is this page number eighteen. It is two fifty by F Y raised to one by two, so it will automatically come one because F Y value is two fifty here. So as per this criteria, I can write like this that therefore section is which section semi compact section semi compact. okay you can write like this the type of section is semi compact so section classification is also over now now what is the next step the calculation of slenderness ratio so i'll find out that 
it is step number fifth okay so the fifth step is slenderness ratio i'll put it here slenderness ratio okay now slenderness ratio formula it is given on which page number c ultimately you have to refer is code and keep on writing the page numbers why why i am saying this because it will be remembered with for you because ultimately you have to refer is code only it is allowed in the exams so if you practice on opening this is code page numbers it will automatically get fitted into your brain okay so keep on practicing the page numbers also so what is the formula of lambda here that is slenderness ratio it is k into l divided by r minimum now what is the value of k k value is 0.85 why it is given in this page number also okay so i'll put the formula here i'll uh, put the values here 0.85 what is the value of l they have given 4.8 meter that means 4800 mm what is the value of r minimum then see we have taken it from the steel table it is here 24.4 mm so i'll put that 24.4 mm so the value of lambda here will be therefore i'll put like this the value of lambda will be 167.213 okay now for this value you will have to find out the fcd that is corresponding fcd it is known as corresponding fcd so it is step number buckling class will be c you can ignore this step also but i'll write down that also because we are following this procedure only so step number seven will be i'll put here step number six not seven ah, step number six what is buckling class so what is the buckling class here i have told you for angle sections all whether it is double angle or single angle the buckling class will be c only so i'll put like this buckling class is c for angle section okay that is clear for angle sections they have given that buckling class will be c only so this you know or even if you can if you want to write down the page number you can write down that so from which page number i got this value i got this value from page number 44 table number 10 okay you can write down that, that also for for your better and better understanding you can open that is code and you can check whether it is given or not now the next step design compressive stress that is design uh, compressive is remaining compressive stress actually design compressive stress okay now design compressive stress what what it is denoted by it is denoted by what fcd so i'll put fcd okay i'll put fcd now what is the value of fcd here see you can make the table like this lambda and fcd what i will do i'll first put the page number here then i will write like this see the page number is again from table 9c i am taking from where table 9c and the page number is 42 okay you can open that page number and you can check they have given various values of uh, fcd and lambda depending upon lambda you can find out the value of fcd now what they have given let me show you see our value of lambda is what 167.213 okay so i'll make the two columns like this lambda and one column fcd okay so our value is 167.213 so it lies between 160 and 170 what is the value of 160 you can check in that as code from this page number for 160 the value is 53.3 okay it is 53.3 and for 170 the value is 48.1 so what should be the value here you can do the interpolation so after the interpolations after the calculations the value will be 49.549 you can check it on your calc also it is 49.549 now i have find out the value of design compressive stress what is the last step that is remaining it is step number 8 that is design compressive strength design compressive strength okay and it is denoted by what it is denoted by pd and it is very simple it is area into fcd just pd is equal to area into fcd now what is the area that we have taken from the steel table don't get confused don't take this area you have to take this area which is taken from the is code okay so it is one two two one but
but it is two times one to two one. Why one to two one into two? Because it is double angle. And what is the value of FCD? It is forty nine point five four nine. Here it is. So after the calculation, the value will be one twenty point nine nine kilonewton. Okay, now see this. It was required to have the our strength at least one thirty, but our strength is only one twenty point nine nine. So whether it is suitable or not, it is less than PU. That is. 120.99 it is less than 130 kilo newton therefore i will write like this therefore isa that is 2 isa we had tried what 80 by 80 by 8 is unsafe it is not safe you will have to change the section so let me change the section now see this one is unsafe so i'll try different section it will be my next step okay step number 9 try another section because that section was not suitable means it was not safe because it had a capacity of only what see only 120.99 was the strength okay and it is less than 130 so it, you can cannot try so i'll try different so i'll try isa 90 by 90 by 8 mm okay and for that the lambda value i'll directly find out so what will be the value of lambda here 0.85 Into four eight double zero will be as it is now. What is the see? What is the formula of lambda here? It is R minimum. So let's check what is the value of R minimum here. It is twenty. Uh, I'll write it here. Uh, ISA is ninety by ninety by eight with R Y Y is equal to twenty seven point five. It is R X X actually. It is given in what? It is given in steel table. Okay, so you don't get confused. It is given in what steel table. I'll write it here also. From steel table, I have taken this. Okay. Now I'll try this section. So for that, the value is twenty-seven point five. That is our minimum. So lambda value is now one forty-eight point three six. In exam, if you if your section fails, you can do like this. You have to do uh, from this step. Means you just try the section and directly calculate the lambda. Don't need to repeat other pro other steps. Okay. You just Check whether this section will be suitable or not. Now we have tried or we have find out the value of lambda. Now let's make the same table again. One side lambda, one side of C D. Now the lambda is one forty eight point three six. So it in lies between which values one forty and one fifty. So what is the value of one forty in the I S code? Check that again nine C table. It is sixty six point two in I S code, and it is fifty nine point two I S code. Okay, so after the interpolation, the value of FCD for my calculations it will be sixty point three four five newton per mm square. Okay, now I got the value of FCD. Now I can easily find out the value of design compressive strength. So I will again find out design compressive strength. Okay, it is denoted by what? It is denoted by Pd. So I'll put Pd is equal to area into FCD. Now, what is the area for this angle? See, it was one three seven nine. I have not mentioned here. Actually, I should have mentioned here. Area is one three seven nine. Okay, mm square. I have tried some bigger area. Obviously, last time we tried eighty eighty eight. Now this time ninety ninety eight. Okay, so for that area is two into one three seven nine because for single angle that was area. Into FCD value we have calculated it is sixty point three four five. So let's calculate what is the value after the calculations. The value is one sixty six point four three, one sixty six point four three kilo newton, and it is obviously greater than one thirty kilo newton. Now you tell me whether it this section is safe or not. Yes, it is safe. So you can write down like this. Therefore, ISA, or you can write down two ISA because we have tried. Double I say ninety by ninety by eight mm is safe to resist what to resist how much load to resist a factored load of how much kilo newton of one thirty kilo newton. That's it. You can make this sentence, and it is not compulsory to make this sentence. If your section is safe, means if it is greater than this one thirty kilo newton, then it is safe. No need to write other steps. Okay. So, this was the numerical. That it was second numerical actually on design of double angle strut. Okay.
थैंक यू